welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to tell you how to expedite your immigration case with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. If you filed any type of case with USCIS, and again, this includes an I-130 immigrant petition, an I-589 asylum application, an I-601A waiver application, maybe an I-131 travel authorization document, and you believe that it's taking way too long, you can make a request to expedite your case. The only catch, and it's a very big catch, is that you must be able to demonstrate and prove one of these three things. One, a severe financial loss to a company or person. Two, an humanitarian reason that is related to human welfare. Examples may include an illness, disability, extreme living conditions, death in the family, or a critical need to travel to obtain medical treatment in a limited amount of time. And three, U.S. government interests. For example, Maybe you have to obtain an immigration benefit to get a security clearance or a certain type of government job. So if you go to google.com and you just type in how to make an expedite request with USCIS, the first website that you will see will provide information about these three categories. Now for most people that call into my office and want to expedite their case, they do not have a valid reason to request an expedite for their case. So if you're watching this video, what can you do to ensure that your case is handled as quickly as possible? The only thing that you can do and that is in your control is to make sure that you hire a proactive immigration attorney to represent you. Let me give you a very good example. A few days ago, one of our clients informed us that he received his K-1 fiancé visa. Instead of just waiting around for him to come to the United States and marry his fiancé, our office immediately went to work for him. First, we sent him an email to explain what he should expect once he arrives into the United States. Second, we sent him an email that explained what type of documents he should bring with him to the United States in order for him to apply for a green card. And finally, we drafted the green card application for him and we asked him to go through it and reviewed it. This way, immediately when he comes into the United States and gets married, we can send off his green card application right away. Remember, currently it is taking the government up to 10 months just to issue the temporary work authorization, the temporary travel authorization, and you need these documents in order to receive a social security card or your driver's license. If our office was not proactive, our clients would wait an extra long time to obtain a green card or work or travel authorization after arriving to the US as a K-1 fiance. The last thing that a foreign national wants to do is travel across the world to the U.S. without the necessary documents and then try to frantically file their green card application because they don't want to wait around for, let's say, a social security card or to work or to travel. So if you or someone you know has started the immigration process and they do not qualify for an expedite request, I encourage you to reach out to them and advise them to hire a proactive attorney to help them plan for the next steps of their immigration case. Again, thank you for watching Winning Law. This is attorney David Wynn, and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. At David Wynn's Law Office, we are here to help you. We bring families together through immigration and on the other hand we help you find solutions All your legal needs in the hands of people who care Who are there for you We'll take care of your loved ones At the Law Office of David